Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome to yet another episode of our weekly digital business forum. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching us from. My name is Ferry Nkanji. I'm your host today. So stay tuned. We have with us a very special lady, Ishioma. I hope I pronounced that, that name properly, but forgive me if I didn't. And we have her here with us. And she's an amazing, amazing online business owner as well. And she's with us here to inspire us today. So we are glad once more that we are here today. We are sorry last Sunday we didn't make it. Yes, we were unable to come. But today we are here with you live and ready to share once more and inspire somebody out there. So we are glad. And uh, we know that you're going to be enjoying yourself. So get comfortable. Let's get a glass of water, a cup of tea. Uh, don't forget a pen and paper to jot down some very important information that our guest is going to be sharing shortly. To all those who are watching us and would like to comment behind, please do so. We shall make sure that we will respond to all the questions that we'll be having. And to those that will catch a replay, you're most welcome. Okay, by way of introduction again, my name is Ferry Kanji. I'm an educationist, a mother, a wife, and a proud digital business owner. And today our host Ishioma is a seasoned digital business owner, devoted mother, a wife, and a trusted online business consultant, ready to guide us all the way through the journey that she has had and being prosperous online, we are going to be definitely learning a lot from her. So you're most welcome, Ishioma. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Ferry and Dorothy and everyone. <laughs> yes. Yes, you're welcome. Hey. So this is how it will go. Uh, I have introduced myself and my co-hosts will go next. We'll have David here with us, one yeah. of the gentlemen who was present. We have Dorothy N and Dorothy M. They're going to introduce themselves. And then thereafter, you, Ishioma, you'll have a go. So please, David, do us the honors. Uh, thank you, Ferry. Um, that was a very warm uh, welcome to uh, Ishioma. My name is David Kibalama Kanji. Um, and I'm a senior advisor in cybersecurity here in the US. I'm a proud digital business entrepreneur. I come here every Sunday with my cohorts, Ferry, Dorothy, and Dorothy to inform you and inspire you to start your own business and to take advantage of um, uh, these digital spaces, leveraging on the technologies um, that are available. Uh, tonight, obviously, we have a guest for you. We have Ishoma all the way from Canada. Welcome, Ishoma. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, we are eager to hear from you. Um, I give back the mic to Ferry so that, uh, yeah. you know, somebody yes, can have a welcome. go at this. Welcome. Thank you, David, for that. Uh, we have Dorothy M, please. Well, thank you so much, Ferry, and thank you, Ishioma, for being here with us. We are so excited to have you in our forum today because uh, I know you have so much to tell us. Uh, and I think our followers will be blessed today with uh, the information you'll have for us. So my name is Dorothy. I'm a health. I'm a healthcare professional and a proud, a proud digital business owner. And all I can say is that you know this business has truly changed my life. And uh, you know we bring this information every single Sunday because it's something that we feel can help each and everyone out there. So welcome, Ishioma. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> welcome, Dorothy. Thank you so much for the share. And we also welcome Dorothy N, please. All right. Thank you very much, Ferry. And thanks, everybody, for watching. I can see people coming and coming to see their fire in the house today. Mm -hmm. So I believe for those who are in our online business, when we talk about the guest for today, you know what we mean, okay? So it's fire in the house. And first and foremost, my name is Dorothy Nakalema. For those, if it's your first time to know me, I'm the lady from Uganda, originally, currently in the USA, and a proud digital business owner. You know, today is a special day for me. 
and indeed we have our special guest at the same time and today i'm just excited because i met two years it's my anniversary while doing this yeah. today. Yeah. <laughs> congratulations uh, officially two years in this business and i cannot even regret so uh, thank you very much i made up a little bit about me i was a nurse um and i'm an entrepreneur i could say that i was a former anti-money laundering analyst a former safety and healthy you know healthy officer environment so i have a lot of heart so and but I, currently i'm a proud digital business owner mm -hmm. Thank you, Ferry. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dorothy. Uh, Dorothy is our coach in this business, and uh, we're really proud of what she's doing with us. And uh, um, I don't want to talk too much, but to be honest with you, the purpose of this talk show is to inspire you who is watching us or who will catch a replay, to inspire you and motivate you and encourage you not to settle for less. Absolutely. All of us here tried something out, and it's successful. So we are telling you this is a business that actually works. So please reach for the stars, my friend. Reach for the stars, my friend. If you don't like where you are, please make that happen. Take action and you'll see. You will thank us later. I believe you will thank us later. So now it's time for our guests. We are excited to hear from you, Ishiyama. Take it away, please. Take it away. <laughs> sure. Thank you so much, everyone, for your introductions. And yes, for having me here today, I'm really grateful and also very excited to share, you know, my journey and just to inspire you guys, right, to be able to take action and really understand what we've seen um, in this business that made us, you know, come this far. So a little bit about me, just like they said, and you can see on the screen, my name is Ishioma. I'm originally Nigerian, but I've been based in Canada now for several years. And I started this digital business journey four and a half years ago. So for me to have been doing it this long, that's to tell you that there is something here, right, that has kept me this long. And, you know, where did I come from before starting this business? So ordinarily, I'm a trained engineer. So I'm a chemical engineer by profession, but moving to Canada, I'm sure a lot of you who are watching, if you're immigrants, you can probably relate that it doesn't matter what degree or experience you come with, somehow you have to start from scratch, <laughs> right? Yeah. So that was kind of my story too. Uh, when I came to Canada, I decided to just do any job really that would just gather me that Canadian experience so that I could eventually walk my way up the corporate ladder. Yes, we all come to diaspora because we want that greener pasture, but in the beginning, the greener pasture is not necessarily green, right? So it was on that right. journey that I was, and also I started facing some politics at work really that made me question whether this was really the path that I wanted to take for the next 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> of my life, you know, having somebody else dictate my pay, dictate my time and all of that. So it was during that process of me thinking of, oh, what can I do that, you know, I could get to call the shots on my time, my life. Um, actually, I now started a family, right? I had my, my first child. And then um, I realized, you know what, my priorities has, has even changed now because I want to have that time flexibility to be able to stay home, but at the same time, I didn't want to sacrifice my income, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Because the whole point of going to school is because you want to have good income, right? So yes, so I started looking for something out there that I could do. And as any of you would imagine, when you're online for any amount of time, you're going to be bombarded left, right, and center with ads everywhere or things just telling you, hey, you can make money online this way and that way. And I did venture into one of those things, which didn't turn out too well. Um, but I didn't give up, right? So I started the journey to entrepreneurship before I came across this particular platform, but I wasn't satisfied with the results I was getting from the previous platform. But did I give up on entrepreneurship? No, I decided that I was going to, um, you know, keep searching for something. And that was how I came across this particular platform. And I decided to take the bold step to start. And here I am now, four and a half years later. Yes, I am now my own boss. And I can basically call the shots on when I want to work, uh, when I don't want to work, when I want to travel on vacation and all of that, right? So, yes, that's a quick intro about me. I'm sure there's going to be more questions for me to answer. Yeah. Yes, ideally. Thank wow. Thank you so much. Thank you for the, for the share. 
Yeah, it is really, really, really resonating with most of us because ideally that's why we are moving into the online space. We are not happy where we are. We are not comfortable where we are. That's, I'm speaking from a personal view as well. And we had to make the call. We had to make uh, the take the, the, the it's called a, a leap of faith into something the unknown. But trust me, it's working. If all of us are here every Sunday with a special guest to tell you more about this business, then indeed it is worth checking out. That's what you're saying. Check it out. Visit our websites and check out this business and see whether it can be something that you can actually do. Because if we can do it, I believe you too can do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will ask Dorothy M, uh, please, could you give, ask our guest the first question? All right. The first question is here for you, Ishoma. Uh, could you elaborate on your journey into the digital online business world for our audience? And what, what made you or motivated you to enter into this field? Mm -hmm. Good, good question because I already kind of started <laughs> started yeah, talking yes, about that. Yes, right? But yes, I will give you a little bit more detail. So, first of all, how did I even come across this platform? Um, mm -hmm. It was a friend of mine on Facebook who had been posting actually for a good one year. Well, I had been seeing her posts for a year, mm -hmm. talking about oh, my online business is making me travel around the world and buy properties and do all this wonderful thing. And you know how you just stay in the backside and just be watching like, okay, okay, what's this thing about? I was curious, but I guess I was not that serious yet because at the time I was focused on the other venture that I mentioned earlier, right? That I was doing. So in my mind, I was like, okay, let me pay no mind to this. Let me focus on this. But I guess it got to that point, especially when I went back to work after my math leave. Remember I said, I started this business just basically after I became a mom, right? A year after I became a mom. So I just go back to work from my mat leave and going back to the same place of work <laughs> wasn't quite funny because yeah. yeah, it was, it was, it was not what I expected, what I anticipated. Um, and I was like, okay, I don't like coming here every day. I'm leaving my little boy, um, in the hands of somebody else to take care of. And at the same time, this place doesn't even appreciate me, my time, my efforts. So I need to do something and I need to do something fast. So one day, her po the post, the particular post that she posted that caught my attention, actually, rather, I, that made me take action, okay? Bear in mind, she has been catching my attention, but I just didn't take action, was when she said, mm -hmm. um, my skeptical sister just joined my business. And I'm like, hmm, if your skeptical sister just joined your business, that means there must be something here that I need to go and check out, right? So that was when I approached her. I said, hey, can you tell me what this is all about? And then she directed me to watch the webinar. And you know what, guys? When I watch that webinar, a lot of people say, oh, when they watch the webinar, maybe they have to watch it again before they get it or something. But for me, I got it the moment I watched it because the same thing that they were talking about in the webinar that is already set up for us here were the things I was struggling to figure out in the other business that I was doing, right? Remember I told you it was another online business. And I had to figure yeah. out a whole lot of the moving parts, you know, how to build a website, how to get products, how to get customers, how to be the model at the same time and the photographer and the editor and everything. Yes. <laughs> to do the shipping and the logistics. It was all on me and me alone. Okay. But when I came to the webinar and I watched what this business model was about, I was blown away. I was like, wow, you mean people are making this kind of money just from an already built system. Let me take exactly. it a step further, right? So I took that step, um, next step, you, you know, to pay the registration fee, especially because, you know, we're told that the registration fee is refundable, right? So I'm like, yes. what is this going to cost me? Really nothing. It's there's zero risk and zero commitment. So I took that next step. I checked out the entire package and I got added to the community and I was yes. mind blown, right? Because I'm like, yeah. okay, People are just everyday people like me, you know, some of them are moms, some of them are professionals, a lot of immigrants too. And what are they doing? It's the same things that they're doing, that they're, you know, the same um, training resources that they have access to that I'm going to also be accessing. Then this is a no-brainer, right? It was a no-brainer for me to go ahead yeah. and then start my business journey fully. So yes, what motivated me to start this business was because maybe because I had experience already in the online space, in the online business space. So for me, seeing this particular platform, it was like a gold mine for me. And I just did not want to waste time to dig into it. Yeah. 
Mm, great. Well, Dorothy, are you okay? Were you yeah, are you satisfied with the answer? She, she did a good job explaining <laughs> that. And you know, <laughs> I, you know, I'm amazed how sometimes we, you know, we see something and we take time, but there's that trigger that comes in and it's like this is it now, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. Thank you, Shoma. Thank you. You're well welcome. answered. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. I really feel you've done that question justice. Yes. Uh, you've given us the information that we need that we don't even have to ask part B. Yes. <laughs> Agreed? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, please, Dorothy Ann, could you ask the next question? All right. Um, thank you very much, Shamra. It was really, really wonderful the way like you it the way you explained it so whoever who is skeptical out there it can tell you now mm -hmm. your skepticism it's not going to late like it will not bring that change you have to change for you to get that change in your life so mm -hmm. and the change is through you taking action so yeah. just go to the description link type in your name and your email address one day we are just here waiting for your testimony okay yeah. So anyway, this second question, it looks like she answered it, right? Right. That's or is it any specific events? Yeah, it looks like she answered it. So let me just go straight to this one. Uh, were there any moments when you felt like giving up? And if so, what motivated you keep going? Yeah, you know, that question is quite interesting because maybe some people may have that experience of wanting to give up but me i'm a go-getter <laughs> oh. so the concept of giving up not really like yes don't get me wrong i'm not saying that the business is all rainbows and unicorns right Absolutely. There's, there's one or two challenges here or there. and let me let me share with you a little bit about my myself right so when i started or just when, before i started the business i was excited to start but I had a skeptical spouse, okay? So for me, that was yeah. one challenge that I faced early on. And I'm also sharing this because I know that a lot of um, people face this kind of challenge as well, right? If you're a lady watching this, you're probably going to have a skeptical husband who will tell you, no, 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 don't do it. If you're a guy, maybe it's your wife that will be like, hell no, I'm not interested, don't even think about it. Or if you're an older adult, it might be your kids because this is what I've experienced, right? You always tend to have somebody in your circle. It might be your friend or your family telling you, oh, this thing is not real. And I think I can see a comment in the comment section to somebody who's asking, is this business really real? Because I'm having doubts. So yes, I had a skeptical spouse. But here's the thing. For me, I had my own belief, right, in the business because I had a previous experience. So I was willing to take the risk, right? Because I believe that if you don't take a risk in life, you're going to continue to be stuck in the exact same place. Besides, you're right. you take risk every day, knowingly or unknowingly. When you're going to, let's say you're going to work or you're going to the grocery store, there's no guarantee you're going to make it back home in one piece, right? Absolutely. So for me, I was willing to take that risk. And I said, you know what? I'm going to give myself a period of time and I'm going to do my very best, and I'm going to see if it's going to give me results, then that will determine whether I will continue. So I guess maybe that was, you know, that I had the, uh, the goal to give up, but I had a goal to make it work based on my own work ethic, because I know that I'm a go-getter, right? So I went ahead and I started, besides my skeptical um, spouse being the first challenge, the other challenge I had too was I was not a social media person. <laughs> this me now that you're seeing talking cha 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 in this interview <laughs> but ask me what happens to go to do the interview i will run away if i had the first time somebody asked me i'm like no i'm not interested i i ran i know, right? I know. but i was like oh don't worry you'll be good you'll be okay i'll do most of the talking you can just say one or two sentences i'm like okay fine let's give it a shot right and eventually you know i started participating more in all this kind of go live interviews recording videos of myself and now i am more comfortable in front of the camera Right, but did I start this way? Because some people think that we that are doing this business we were born being social media people or marketers. Exactly. 
it's not like that right i was inspired by our community right seeing people that are just like me who are introverts private people not social media people who are making big money right so i was like oh if they can do it then i can do it to little by little little by little i'll just push myself small 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 and here i am today so for me it was not a question whether i was going to give up it was more or less if i was willing to do what it takes to get me the results that i am now enjoying right so yeah, yeah i hope that answers your question <laughs> yes wow. absolutely yeah, it, it i really want to thank dorothy yes yeah it really does and thank you very much so what i even picked in your conversation it's like you had the reason why you started the business like you had that why so whatever you are explaining i saw that your why was pushing you to do each and everything to make exactly. the business right yeah. so yeah. it was really wonderful and actually the best part of it you know um um like our guest talked about helping like having a mentor you know she had somebody at her back you know at her shoulder where even if she gets a challenge somebody there to guide her through on how they can go through whatever she's going like she's going through so i always mm, tell you it's like our business, when you're joining our business our online business you're like a baby so a mentor and your coach there now you have a mom and a dad you know you have a dad or you have a mom who's going to hold you you know like take you through all those tips to your success so it was you can see like when you know our guest was talking about the challenge it's like i saw her struggling even to remember the challenges because <laughs> according to her success she's like uh maybe this and this so it was really wonderful and thank you very much for sharing with us thank you, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, Ishama, i have a, I have a question okay. sorry i have a question <laughs> for you related to that so okay. for our viewers who have the same challenge as skeptical mm -hmm. husband or spouse, mm -hmm. what is your advice? How can you help them navigate that kind of challenge and be able to kind of still start and be successful and show their spouses, hey, I told you, you know? So, <laughs> but that particular moment where you have this challenge, you know, somebody that you have to tell everything, but now they're skeptical. They're telling you, you can't do it, but you can see opportunity. How, how would you advise our followers what to do? You know what? I'm, I'm going to answer this question, but I'm also going to give like a, <laughs> like a disclaimer, right? Yeah. Which is, I know not every um, marriage or relationship is the same. Yeah. So some of us may be able to get away being yeah. stubborn. Yes. Or some Absolutely. other people that might be the end of their marriage, right? It's true. So yes. at the end of the day, I was saying, you know your partner better. Mm -hmm. Um, for me, I knew that if I go ahead and stubbornly do it, I can try to hide for the first few months till I have my results. And then you can <laughs> show them wow. up on my behalf, right? And that's exactly yeah. what I did. So I yeah. went ahead to start yeah. without his knowledge because after telling him and he said no, well, I had to do something because I believed so much. The first, that's another thing. Sometimes when you yourself don't have a strong belief, you are easily dissuaded so, by just mm -hmm. the first person that says, oh, no, don't do it right but yeah, if you have a strong lovely. belief in yourself mm -hmm. then it helps for you to you can if you, if you want you can decide to find a way to start without the other person's knowledge and let the results speak for you so by the next time my husband saw me talking about this business it was because i was getting checks from the mailbox right yeah. obviously when you're getting checks from the mailbox they're not going to tell you oh, keep your money i'm not interested no instead it will help you plan on top of the check yes <laughs> and help you go to the to the mailbox <laughs> exactly exactly yeah all right good thank wow, you wow that's beautiful yeah. uh i for one i for one uh you mentioned that your husband was skeptical i was skeptical oh, -da! I you are now. <laughs> yes i was very skeptical uh i remember very well when my husband introduced this i definitely was in a bad place because i was homeschooling and we're earning from a uh, one source of income and when my husband brought this idea i was all along looking for an idea to do something i could do from home as i'm also homeschooling my children and when my husband brought this idea because i had tried out quite a number of online businesses alone mm -hmm. and i was disappointed 
So when he brought this, I was very skeptical. I told him this one I don't think will ever work. And uh, he told me he has friends doing this business. Uh, but the beautiful thing that actually works on me was the 30 day program, the period that they give us to, to when you pay the $149, the, that grace period that they give you to check out the product and see exactly, do research, you know? So I, I was part of the community. They added me to the community. I got to know, to meet people, to see real people, listen to various people who are sharing their stories. Mm -hmm. And that gave me hope. So I became, um, um, I became kind of ready to start on, to take it on. And now I didn't know exactly how to go about it as well. I had the same challenges. I was not an online person as well. But what did I do? I, 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 I got to know that they have a training, a comprehensive lifetime training, you know, step-by-step mm -hmm. -step video best training. And being a teacher, an educationist, that was it for me because I knew as long as I study and get to know that there's a system in the background that does so and so and so, as long as I follow the instructions, I'll get results. And that's exactly what I did. So I got the courage and started. Now I'm the one telling my husband, hold on, hold on. We're going to make it bigly. Because already, already, indeed, already, there's results already. We are seeing results in our lives. I'm back in, in and out of the U.S. because I'm building a school home, you know? So these are things that, yes, these are things that we really, really appreciate. And we, 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 we credit or we give credit to the business for taking mm -hmm. us this far. So I'll have a David K. Please, could you ask the next question? You're muted, David. You're, You're muted. muted. Oh, sorry about that. Thank you, uh, Ferry. Thank you, everybody, for your comments and the stories coming from Ishoma. I quietly listened in as they were coming in and absorbing everything. I picked a few things here and there. One of the things that um, picked, uh, you know, that uh, caught my attention as you were telling your story, Ishoma, is the 149. You see, when you've um, watched an advert or seen somebody talking about this business and you're from nowhere, you don't know about it, um, they'll talk about you paying a $149 uh, dollar to, um, you know, to unlock um, the uh, comprehensive, um, you know, uh, videos and information to, 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 to do your due diligence. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then a lot of people will say, huh, 149 why do I have to pay money? And then I thought about something here in the States. We know of certain franchises. For instance, I'll give you an example of the uh, McDonald's. If somebody walked up to you and asked you, hey, I have a good business idea, one that you and I both know works, McDonald's, you know? Mm -hmm. And they say, um, but to give you comprehensive information about this franchise, how it works, okay? We need half a million dollars from you. Do you know what that half a million dollars does to so many people? One, it will shake off the people that are not serious, the people that are just time wasters, okay? But very serious business-minded people that want to do this business and kind of have heard about it or know that it works, it's running as a business, and they see it all over, they'll pay that half a million dollars. It's a no-brainer if somebody tells you, you pay half a million dollars, it's refundable if, you're, if this is not for you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So this one is just to make sure that, you know, they see you or weigh you. Because they don't want you to take on a McDonald's. Um, at some point, they expect you to serve their own recipes, ketchup, and all these niceties. And because you don't buy into the franchise, you run to uh, Walmart to buy Walmart ketchup and you have it at the McDonald's, okay? Mm -hmm. You're already saying, ah, why should I use their ketchup? It's expensive. I could buy it cheaply from, from um, Walmart. But you see, if you buy it from Walmart, that's already out of what McDonald's is known to do or serve, and that's different. You're not a McDonald's anymore if you do that, okay? So, um, when they bring you in, they give you a system. They send you a system. 
and they usher you into the business. So um, when I had you talk about that and you, you mentioned that it's a no brainer, you know, that caught my attention and I was like, mm -hmm. but indeed it's a no brainer because somebody's Absolutely. telling you pay so much money so that I unlock, um, you know, all this information. Okay. So we don't waste time here. If it's for you, yeah. we'll proceed to the next steps. Exactly. If it's not, you're free to go and you will have your money refunded, you know? So to me, it's, yeah. um, it's, 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 it's a no brainer, but it's one of those things that I hear people, um, you, you know, uh, kind of uh, say things about it. They say, ah, 149, why should I bet 149? And I'm like, hey, you know what? If if if, if it's um, deterring you from moving from moving forward, then probably um, you're not um, an, an entrepreneurial mind or you're not in an entrepreneurial mindset. So anyway, that is something I just wanted to mention. Um, but moving forward, um, I just wanted to, to uh, ask you, um, the fourth question, have you encountered any technical challenges? Because this is an online business. When you say you're moving from traditional businesses and you're going online, what comes to your mind? You're gonna be dealing with technologies. You're gonna be dealing with the phone. Okay, that's an easy one, but you're gonna be dealing with computers. Okay, and we all get scared about computers, the internet. Some people find it difficult to um, uh, navigate their way around certain technologies. So, uh, and, and, and usually these are some of the things they, you know, worry about. So how, have you encountered any technical challenges while doing your business uh, or, you know, um, maintaining your online platform and how have you uh, overcome these challenges? Mm, that's a good question because I know some people watching will be thinking, oh, do I have to be a tech guru or a computer savvy person, exactly. you know, or I can do this yeah. business successfully. Mm -hmm. And the good news is you don't have to be a technical guru because we have a dedicated technical team, right? That they do all of the really hard stuff for us. You know, years before I started this particular business, I had always, um, you know, admired people who say, oh, you know, I'm a digital nomad. I can work on my laptop anywhere. But one time yeah. I tried to join this group, you know, and I wanted to say, okay, what do they really do? And I saw them talking about, oh, you need to go and learn some coding, some graphic design. And I'm like, ah, uh -uh. no, I've already gone to enough school, Jerry. I don't want to do this one. I know. <laughs> you know, so I, I did not even bother going forward with those people. But, you know, again, this is what I was saying earlier, that when I watch, even from watching the webinar for this particular uh, platform we're talking about today, and I compared it to what I was doing previously, I saw that, okay, a lot of the technical things are already done for us. And yeah. even if maybe while going through the training, you know, I found maybe one or two things that I had questions about, then I have a mentor, just like Dorothy was saying earlier, right? There's that go-to person. So you're not left alone trying to figure things out for yourself. And this right. is something that if you want to go and try doing entrepreneurship yourself, trying to tap into the online space yourself, you're going to struggle alone. But the beautiful thing about this business platform is we not, we, we don't only provide that technical um, a team, but we also provide the mentor, right, or the coach who you can go to just a phone call, text message, or even Zoom away to help you out. And then we have the community at large. So even if you know you are in a different part of the world from your direct mentor, you can always connect with other business owners who are always willing to assist you. So in mm. terms of answering your question about technical challenges, I would say there's not much I would say is there as a technical challenge. Just the basic um, skills that you have. I tell people if you can press your phone, you can read the text message I'm sending you and you can send me a message back. You know, you can open your email and send me an email. That's about the kind of um, level that you need to be able to be successful in this business. We're not telling you to come here and start writing codes. We're not telling you to come and start designing websites or things like that, right? If you already have those skills, well, it's an added bonus for you. Maybe you can join our tech Absolutely. team, but you don't need that to be successful, okay? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh, oh, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much um, for your um, elaborate answer. And, uh, you know, a key point you made um, is that 
there is a technical team behind the system. Yes. Like we've been telling you, you're building yes. your business over an established system. Yes. So um, you don't get involved in building funnels or websites. There is a team for that. Okay. All you need to do yeah. is set up and, um, you know, um, find, um, you know, uh, somebody to, to, to support you from the tech team. Okay. It's not difficult. The system is there in place and that's done for you. So yours is just yeah. basic. Okay. Yours is basic. And there's a training where you um, watch a video and do for as long as you're coachable, life is good. Life is easy. Watch, do, watch, do, and slowly you progress until you finally find yourself in full control of um, the online business. Thank you, Ishoma. Back to you, Ferry. Thank you so much, David, for that. Thank you, Ishoma, for the lovely questions. You know, time really flies. We have gone into, we've eaten into your time, Ishoma. Yeah. Usually I'll just do 30 minutes and we do the rest. But it is well, if you're still here for a few more minutes, there is one little one little question that I, I cannot leave behind. Please, mm -hmm. could you? Are you okay? Are you on? Yeah. Are we still yeah, on? That's fine. Yeah. Lovely. Please, could you could you share any valuable lessons that you've learned over the four and a half years of doing this business that other people can benefit from? Yeah, I I mean, there's so many lessons that I could say. <laughs> it's hard to just yeah. pick one, <laughs> right? Yeah. But the first thing I want to talk about is your mindset, right? Yes. A lot of us, when we start this business, many people don't necessarily have entrepreneurial um, background. You know, you're coming from that um, employee background. And so you yes. have that employee mindset, you know, whereby, you know, you have to wait for somebody to give instructions before you do what you got to do. You don't have the mindset of, oh, taking risk because you like to play it safe and wait for a salary at the end of the the month or at the end of two weeks, whatever the case may be. But in order for you to be a successful entrepreneur, you need to have that mindset shift, okay? And we could spend yes. a long time talking about mindset. But what I want to focus on in terms of mindset right now is just even having that positive mindset from the beginning. You know, just like I was yes. saying earlier, being able to believe in yourself when you see the system, being able to believe in the system, because you're going to see a whole lot of testimonies. And if all of these thousands of people are doing this, then you can do it too. So I'll say yeah. the one valuable thing that I'm going to say, you know, or lesson that I've learned is that skepticism, right? Having that negative mindset, um, having a self-limiting belief will not make you go far, okay? But if you're positive, you're willing to learn, you're willing to do what it takes, which we're going to teach you what it takes. You're willing to be coachable. So when your coach tells you do this, you take that advice and you actually apply it. Um, and then you're a risk taker, right? All of those things, obviously, they're not physical, tangible things. They are, that's why I say it's all about mindset. So if you have that mm -hmm. mindset, then it's going to take you far. It's going to take you far because it's going to break boundaries for you. Like instead of remaining in your comfort zone and just doing what you know, you know, some, a lot of the time I, when I do coaching calls, I'm talking to people, different professionals, a nurse will tell me, well, all I know is nursing. I don't know if I can do this. You know, maybe an engineer will tell me all I know is engineering this. I don't know if I can do this, but are you willing to learn? right? If you're willing to learn, that one is checked off. Are you willing to come out of your comfort zone and try and learn something new? right? Are you willing to take that risk? Are you willing to be a go-getter, right? You need to have that work ethic too. It's not as if we're telling you you're going to come and do hard work. I like to call it soft work, soft work or smart work, right? But if yes. you're a go-getter, then this will be easy peasy for you, okay? Yes. So that's yes. the valuable lesson that I've learned in all of these years is having the right mindset, it will take you places in this business, yeah. yeah absolutely, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, does everybody, anybody else out there have anything to add on to that? Before I wanted to add on to, let um, you go? <laughs> yes, I wanted to add on to that very uh, point about um, yes. uh, the mindset. Um, yes. Ishoma, this is very, this is a very in, in interesting area because uh, just this morning um, I went to church. 
I go to church. Um, I'm David, so I go to church. <laughs> so anyway, um, at church, the um, the uh, pastor mentioned something very interesting. He was talking about having upward goals. Okay, you want to become. You want to become CEO. You want to make millions. You want to build um, this world and create a good world for your kids and family, okay? But then you have upward goals, but um, behind those upward goals, you have downward practices, mm. okay? Upward goals, yes. all good. Yes. With downward practices, you'll never get anywhere. Absolutely. Okay? So yeah, because he was talking about all these things that deter our progress, okay? You know for a fact that you have to wake up very early in the morning and do certain things, but you choose um, to put it upon yourself and say, I'm not a morning person, okay? I'm not a morning person. I don't, I, I, I don't do good waking up very early in the morning until somebody tells you you have a flight at 6 a.m. in the morning. Then what happens? You're going to wake up at 4 so you can prepare to actually board that plane and be on your way at 6. So mm -hmm. what just happened to all these, I'm not a morning person thing. So he was saying that some of these things are, are changeable practices. So um, even things like uh, skepticism, because when you mention uh, skepticism, um, it's one of those things of analysis paralysis. When, mm -hmm. you, when, when you see something, but get stuck in the analysis stage. Does it work? Um, is it for me? Uh, who else has done it? Uh, how, how successful how, how successful have they become? It's, it's all good to do this due diligence and find out and compare. But how long do you take in these stages? Do you take forever? We have people that have listened to these things for years, okay? And they've never taken action. But every time they make a call, as Coach Dorothy, she keeps saying this, <laughs> people call her and they say, um, you know, yeah, I, I, I spoke to you uh, six months ago. But you saw he, he, they're still trying to work it, analysis paralysis, they get stuck. So these kind of downward practices are things that are changeable. If you have these upward goals and you want to get there, you should be able to change your practices to actually match up with where you're going. Otherwise, Absolutely. if you're moving in that direction and as far as your uh, goals and aspirations are concerned, but your practices are going down downstream, then, I mean, the two can never yeah. meet. It, it doesn't yeah. match up. So yeah. Um, thank you again, uh, Ishoma. Thank you for sharing and uh, oh, for, yeah. you know uh, yeah. these insightful um, you know things you've uh, shared with our audience. I hope they've learned something. You know. Yes, and yes, uh, yes. yeah. Thank I you. For take, it, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. take it away, Ferry. And, and <laughs> if they haven't learned, thank you for the share, David. It's a beautiful one. You know, you know, you know, you know, the habits we form actually determine where we go or where we reach. And indeed, I know each and every one of us, the co-host has something to say. But to be honest with you, this was really productive. I, I, we are looking forward to bringing more other people, more guests, until you take action. You're not going away. <laughs> uh, you're going to be in your houses until you take action. Because to be honest with you, uh, we believe that's why we are here. That's why we are putting in the time today. We believe that we can help others. You know, I was helped. If I did not see all those videos that I saw of people telling me about this business, I would never be, you know, I would never have taken action. I would still be where I was. Mm -hmm. But I, when I saw that, I was motivated. It's the same thing I'm going to do for you, whoever is watching. We are going to be coming and keep on coming every Sunday. And whenever we miss, we shall make up for it. Uh, we're bringing yes. and uh, the also Perry uh, mentioned that um, um, just yeah. just to throw this out there, okay, yes. from wherever you're watching from, from whichever page you're watching, uh, look yeah. at the description, okay? Look at the description. In the description is a website. Do your due diligence. Click on that link. It will take you yes. to a page uh, to unlock a free 20 minutes to 90 minutes videos. I'm, you know, uh, just go in there, look at the video. It will tell you more about uh, what we're talking about here. 
and do your due diligence. Pay $149. Um, if, 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 if that's a bit of a challenge, then probably this is not for you. And that's one way to shake you off. But I would encourage you to go ahead and do that so that you get to understand the detail about what we're talking about, the compensation plan and how you, you and your family can benefit from this uh, kind of business to create your own, um, you know, to become your own CEO, own boss, create generational wealth and leave to thank us for the moment that uh, you spent with us here tonight. Other than that, yeah. uh, thank you very much. And uh, host, I'll take it, uh, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll drop the mic and uh, have you yes. um, do what oh, you do best. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, before we go, I want, we've really done our time. Uh, Ishioma, please, could you have some closing words? Then we'll have Dorothy as well to say bye to the people <laughs> watching from your page. And we also have Dorothy N. Please. Yes, absolutely. Once again, I am so, so honored that you guys had me here. It was so amazing chatting with you and hearing your different perspectives on things as well. So yes. yes, thanks for having me. And thank you to, to everyone who watched us live and engaged with us and those that are going to watch the replay. Remember, guys, this is a risk-free opportunity. Uh, just like David was saying, you know, we're giving you a 30 days period for you to come in do your due diligence, ask all the questions you want after you've registered. And then yes. if you feel like it's not a good fit for you, we will give you your money back. Yes. We're very confident that this works. That's why we know, you know, we, we will give your money back if you don't want it. Right. But at the yes. same time, we don't want you to go. We're not saying we'll, we're happy to see you go, but it's just to let you know that, you know, you don't have anything to do. Instead, you have everything to gain. Okay. So, guys, this is 2024. It's half gone, right? I don't know the kind of resolutions and goals that you had for yourself at the beginning of the year and how far you've gotten in terms of achieving those goals. But if you know that, you know, the freedom and the flexibility and, you know, the wealth and finances that comes from, you know, being your own boss and being an entrepreneur isn't, right, you know, something that you've achieved yet, then you may want yeah. to check this out because this has the ability to transform your life. This transformed mine is transforming all of the beautiful people that you see on the screen, right? A lot of us yeah. um, earning five figures every month, six figures a year. We even have seven figure um, income earners in our business community. People buying their buses, paying off debts, buying brand new homes, paying off mortgages. I'm sure you heard this a ton yes. from those beautiful people on the screen. But just to let you know, it is real. So if you're still watching on, you know, on the sideline, asking yourself questions and wondering if this is real, guess what? If it wasn't real, we wouldn't come put our faces out here, right? Mm -hmm. The government right. of the different countries where we reside, US, Canada, they all collect taxes from this business. If it wasn't right. real, we wouldn't collect taxes. We wouldn't boldly come put our faces out here. So take action, okay? What I'm trying to say here is to take action, Come in, do your due diligence, and make this year your best year yet. There's still time, guys. Yes. Thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you, Shoma. Wow. You're welcome. Wow. Thank you. Thanks for having yes. me. Thank yes, you, you're done. You've, that's right. a perfect we'll closing. So now. because of time again, Ishoma. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay if you can be with us as we read the comments from our oh. viewers. Sure. That would be nice. All yes, right. So Dorothy N. Dorothy M. Please. Oh, hey, please. <laughs> Dorothy? Yeah, go ahead, Dorothy. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, our guest for today. I really appreciate So, guys, I believe who is watching this right now, who is going to watch the replay. You see the lady here. She is a five income on like five figures monthly. So, and actually, she's a five year. Yes. It's amazing. Wow. It's like four years down the road, but you know, it is something like as they all say that it's a risk risk free. You know, yeah. you take it's it's a risk free one forty nine dollars. You just take a risk for one forty nine dollars, which is risk free because you're going to get it back if it's not something for you, right? And I love the fact right. that all of my colleagues here they spoke about you know like almost 80 percent of this business it is done for you so you just have that 10 percent the 20 percent to plug in our system and so basically our system it's like 
dealing doing a business in the business right like do, mm -hmm. you're doing a business in a business for example let me give a good a simple example for uber you know when you're driving for uber you're just starting to drive for uber right mm -hmm. are you the one looking for the customers or uber is the one looking for those customers what do you have to do bring your car put in gas go on the load turn up your app so that is the system we're gonna plug you in that's the system we have so it's like you are doing business in the in the business but remember here you are building a generational wealth i was just giving an example of uber uber it's a it's not your 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 your, your like your 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 it's not about your your own business it's for somebody else you know but here you are building your generational what you're building a business for yourself with all our system we just plug you in that system and everything is done for you all right so let me go ahead and we go through our comments we have profic uh, it's profic profic i'm sorry if i grace i'm sorry if i pronounce your name but i'm sorry if I it. I am watching from my Jersey uh, Channel Islands, UK. Oh, wow. It's late wow. there. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we have Golden, uh, Golden Annette turn in as usual. Amazing. Thank you, Annette, for being with us. Uh, good evening. Angela is here. Hi, Angela. Dozy. Hi, Dozy. It's watching yeah, from Dozy. Boston. Wow. Yeah, okay. Wow. And then, oh, oh, my aunt Vasily, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> we have Juliet is thanking us, thank you, and we have Angela again. So we have somebody here who said, "How can I get started?" So brain, if you are watching us, okay, just go and inbox that person. Wherever you are watching this, you can go to the description link. Type in there's a link there in the description. Just type in the name and the email address then you will get in touch with us or you can inbox somebody whatever you are watching any page you're watching this you will get we will get you started and help you start this online business okay and congratulations in advance good evening pretty okay pretty has a question for us here is this business really real yes. <laughs> i'm having a doubt <laughs> Oh my God, I'm sorry to laugh. Who can answer this question? You know, I'm sorry because if we have our guest who has been in this business for four years and you're still asking us this kind of a question, that's one of the reasons why I laughed. And it takes me back to what David spoke that a lot of people, I received most of the calls, a lot of calls asking me, uh, we saw you starting this business, but are you progressing? I'm like, go to my page. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not progressing, why should I even still doing this business? Exactly. So my dear pretty, it's a real business. We pay taxes. If you are in the US, you will get a 1099 form. We are, if you're in Canada, you will get a T4. It really depends in which country you are. So mm -hmm. anything in these developed countries, as long as it is taxable, as long as you're paying tax, just know you're in the right place. It's a legit business. Okay, my dear. So just reach out to any of us here. Just go to the description link, type in the name, email address, there's a link already, then somebody will be in touch with you or just inbox any of us here. So there's Juliet here thanking us again. And uh, who else here? There's a lot of email. There's a lot of comments. I don't think we are going to go through everything. There's this one, Kachim. Is it Kachim? Kachim. Padilla. 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 Okay. So um, it said, good evening. I'm new here. Oh, let me see this one. Good evening, Mama. New here. This person seems to be new. Welcome, welcome to the online world. Just inbox any of us. We're okay. gonna get you started as soon as you want it. Mm -hmm. So then delete this one. It's called uh, watching from New York. There's somebody watching from New York here. Hi. I'm sorry if I pronounce your name Gul Gul Gulung. 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 I'm sorry if I pronounce your name. Mima. And then we have this one. It, it is where. Oh, yeah. 
we are benefiting so much from this business so i believe uh brenda some of the comments they answer your question you know it's somebody it's, it's not even on our platform here but it's mm -hmm. from the comment that they are benefiting you know so much out of this business so mm -hmm. just get in touch to any of us here we have thank you each mm -hmm. other david ferry and the two mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. And okay, all right. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. We have you. Sarah right here watching from California. Hey Sarah, I'm California. I'm in California too. Ah, Sarah Gado. <laughs> oh yeah. Hi so, Sarah. <laughs> we have Tanisha says interesting David Care and thank Sarah you, Tanisha. Gado. Interesting. Thank you for sharing. We have Gladys there. And thank you very much, guys, for watching. We are not going to go yeah. through everything. There are a lot and a lot of comments. So we are not mm -hmm. going to go through each and everything. We are so sorry that last week we didn't show up. We have a business trip in Boston and we couldn't make it like to be on live probably next week we will come and share all those business ideas we get people in boston thank you you welcomed us and you took our business idea thank you very much for inviting us you know what guys uh since we started this lives of sharing the digital online you know the online business we always need people to be informed and be inspired and we are glad that one of the people out there just reached out to us and it's like you know what we want you to educate our people in boston concerning this online business mm -hmm. and somebody just contacted us like that what does it mean that means our goal to inform people and to inspire people to let them know yes it's possible for you to make twenty thousand dollars in what you know people mm -hmm. most of what i've realized that immigrants they think it's impossible it's impossible because you're still working your nine to five where there's a limited you know it's a limited income that's why you're seeing it that it's impossible it's possible to even make fifty thousand dollars just for 149 dollars and we show you how they make that money mm -hmm. in a comfort of your home just a laptop internet and a phone you're good to go i, I myself here i get a lot of people reaching out to me telling me we are seeing you on media. You're talking about that you've been in the business for two years. You've been in America for just five years and your life is just transforming. Is this thing real? Is it for real? I'm like, what should I answer? If you're seeing the results and then you're telling me, is, it, is this real? They think it's, it's even impossible for you to pay off your mortgage in just two years. People mm -hmm. think it's impossible. For those who think it's impossible, it's because you have the mindset of the employee. But if you have an entrepreneurial mind, mindset, a positive mindset, trust me, paying off your mortgage within five years, within three years, it's something you could talk and somebody just looks at you, it's like, are you for real? It's because we're just still in that, you know, mindset of the employee knowing that, okay, every two weeks I'm just waiting for my check. It doesn't matter if you're a doctor, if you're a nurse, engineer, caregiver. It's because you just have that limited income. And when you have a limited income, that means your boss or your, your you know, your boss is the one who is making that unlimited income because they took a risk to start up what you're doing right now. So if you want to change your life just take action and then the rest will be history thank you wow wow awesome. well done well done well done we've gone over 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 sorry for the time but we are making up for last sunday huh? no 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 we're not <laughs> so, okay so apparently uh today we've had quite a number of people that have come to watch this show please invite invite a friend next time so that we can spread the word quite far and wide please don't be selfish invite so we're expecting you to come juliet bring somebody else uh who else is here edosa bring someone else recommend this program to others so they can get the word out as well so mm -hmm. thank you so much, our guest, for being here all the way until the end. <laughs> oh, we really love you, really appreciate thank you. you. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yes, yes. All, right. all our co-hosts, yes. All the co-hosts, here we go and we say bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye.